me having to reapply heat. What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. No, it hasn't. We're gonna be reviewing this baby list, baby list, or Bobby List Pro. I don't know. Somebody let me know how to pronounce it. I'll look it up. But it's the Nano Titanium Prima 3000 Stainless Steel Flat Iron. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Nicole. We do all types of DIYs, everything from home and beauty. So if you like that type of content, hit the subscribe button. It's so cute, first of all. The design is so cute. This is it right here. I literally have used it just twice. I did my hair. So I just did a video on how I get my hair super dark black. So make sure y'all check that out. I'll try to be, I'll try to like link all my hair videos in the description so y'all can check out any hair videos that I've done. But I live for jet black, jet black with a red lip. Okay, check out that video. I'm gonna do a D. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this with the flat iron DIY silk press. My hair looks really good, it's really healthy. I also cut my hair with a TikTok hack, so that video will be coming probably in a couple days once I edit it. But yeah, I did this TikTok hack to cut my hair, so my hair is much shorter. If you have watched my videos, you're familiar with my channel. My hair is much shorter today because, and in my last video, because I did a TikTok hack to cut my hair, that's for another video, so make sure y'all tap into that. This flat iron, I really like it. As long as you use a good heat protectant, I use heat protectant whenever I'm doing heat to my hair, like blow dry, flat iron, whatever. But this is the flat iron here. So, what's really good is that it goes up to, Lord. It goes up to, can y'all see that? It goes up to 465 degrees, so super hot. I'm not sure what my last one goes up to, because it's not in front of me right now. But 300, 340, 380, 310, 365. So you press and hold the on and off button to first cut it on, and then you click whichever button for whichever temperature. Y'all see my October nails. I just got these done. My last video, my nails were chewed. Don't judge me. If you're familiar with my channel, it's a no judgment zone. I don't judge you. You don't judge me. That's how we do. Um, but yeah, these are my Halloween nails. I'm planning to do Vlogtober, y'all. So I'm trying to do a vlog every single day in October. I will try my best to do it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is the flat iron. It gets super hot. I also like most, not most, but all, not all, some <laughs> flat irons have the little options too. So if you push this in, wait, push this down, it'll close. Then if you open it back up, it'll open. The only thing I hate about this is when I'm like flat ironing my hair, sometimes it automatically locks and I'm not trying to lock it. So it's a little frustrating sometimes. I've noticed in the two times that I flat ironed my hair so far, like I'll go like this 
and then it see it just locked I didn't I didn't ask for it to lock so I guess my finger my thumb no this pointer the pointer is like touching it when I'm flat iron so maybe if I move my hand down yeah just move make sure you don't hold up here which is what I'm trying to do I feel like I have more control if I hold it up here but you got to kind of hold it below the blue button so it doesn't keep locking that's what it is but if you have natural hair you know certain times of the year your hair can get like super frizzy even after you flat iron it, even if you put all types of serums on there and everything but I really like this flat iron so far it's been holding my hair up for about a week without me having to reapply heat y'all see that pay attention to the haircut but don't pay attention to the haircut because in the next video we are going to get into it but yes my hair looks super healthy since i cut it um my diy silk press i'm going to post that again like in two days so y'all can see how i achieve this look because y'all know if you've seen my hair before it's it's not this smooth and silky like naturally so it's a good it's a good diy silk press so make sure y'all check that out but yeah i definitely recommend you know trying out this baby list pro i think that's how you pronounce it um nanotech nano titanium premium i can't talk nano titanium prima 3000 stainless steel flat iron i also hate that i mean you know it doesn't affect how i use it but i hate that this uh even though it's cute it like this like a mirror type vibe the stainless steel like your fingerprints are all all over it, it looks dirty you gotta like keep wiping it down just fingerprints everywhere and i don't really like that so the only two things i don't like is the fingerprints everywhere and then how this keeps locking up while i'm flat ironing so again if i like this but yeah little flat iron review because y'all have seen like certain videos where i straighten my hair straighten my daughter's hair and i've been using my old flat iron I can't even think of the brand name right now but y'all about to start seeing this baby because i like it it does its job this is um one and one fourth inches so not too big not too skinny perfect for my length hair or longer um, even if it's a little shorter, obviously if you have super short hair, you need a, a slimmer, um, a slimmer flat iron, but yes, 